It is no secret that soccer is not a number one sport in the United States. It's quite a challenge to name even one American player who may be considered a world star. However, there were a number of top-class players who played for the USA with devotion and may be proud of their career even though they are not that famous outside of America. This video, brought to you by Gold24, is about 10 best players in the history of the United States. But before we start, we would like you to answer a question. Who is the second most expensive American player after Christian Pulisic? Brandon Aronson, Weston McKinney, Timothy Ware, Sir Gino Dest. DeMarcus Bisley After having played for LA Galaxy and Chicago Fire, the winger got noticed by PSV Eindhoven in 2004. The move to the Netherlands really helped DeMarcus's progress. He scored 10 goals and made 10 assists and won two Eredivisie titles in two seasons. That helped him get another promotion. In 2006, Beasley was loaned by Manchester City. Even though that Mon City team was no way near as strong as they are now, it was still a move to England and a possible breakthrough for DeMarcus. But unfortunately, it was not meant to happen, and in summer 2007 he got back to PSV. After that, there was a decent spell in Scotland and two league titles with Glasgow Rangers, but after Beasley left the club in 2010, his career went downhill. He played for Hanover, Puebla and Houston Dynamo and hung up his boots a few years ago. But speaking of his international career, it was certainly was more successful. As for now, DeMarcus is the USA's ninth best goal scorer with 17 goals in 126 games. He also won the CONCACAF Gold Cup four times and won the tournament's golden boot in 2005 with three goals. Brad Friedel The goalkeeper got to play for four different clubs in England throughout his career. The first one was Liverpool, which he joined in 1997 but never became the first choice keeper and played only 24 Premier League matches in three seasons. Next, there was Blackburn the team where Brad became a starter and made himself a name as a pretty decent keeper capable of carrying his team from time to time. His 356 games for Blackburn is the second biggest number in the club's history. Only David Dunn played 20 matches more. There was also a spell at Aston Villa from 2008 to 2011 and then the keeper was signed by Tottenham and even played a couple of seasons as a starter despite being in his 40s. However, it all changed for the American when Hugo Lloris joined the Spurs. That song made Brad a backup keeper, so he stayed at the club for a few years but then retired in 2015 at the age of 44. Speaking of Brad Friedel's international performance, the keeper's debut for the United States dates back to 1992. He played 91 games in total, should we count the Olympic Games. However, he had to retire from international football in 2005 as he decided to make way for Team Howard, the younger one. As for the trophies Friedel won with the USA, there was a Pan American Games victory back in 1991 as well as some Confederations Cup and CONCACAF silverware and also CONCACAF bronze medals. Claudio Reyna Claudio spent the bigger part of his football career in Europe. It all started in Germany, as the American played for Bayer Leverkusen and Wolfsburg. After a solid spell at Wolfsburg, in the 1998-99 season, Reyna moved to the UK to play for Glasgow Rangers and then Sunderland and Manchester City, the Premier League sides. But even though Claudio had the quality, he lacked consistency and never made it into some bigger clubs because of that. In the end, he retired in 2008 after he was back to America and played a season for New York Red Bulls. As a United States player, Reyna got to take part in four World Cups and two Olympic Games. His 114 caps is a top 10 result in terms of matches played for the USA national team. The midfielder won the CONCACAF Gold Cup medals three times and also won the Pan American Games in 91. Though Claudio hung up his boots, he stayed in football and is currently working as a sporting director for Austin FC. And you've probably heard about his son Giovanni from Borussia Dortmund. Reyna Jr. is one of the most promising young players and has every chance to surpass his father. Michael Bradley 
This player is 35 years old now, but 10 years ago he had already got to play in three European top leagues, among his clubs the Dutch side Herenveen, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Aston Villa, Kievo and Roma. Michael's best times were in Germany, where he scored 11 goals and made 4 assists in 81 games for Borussia Mönchengladbach. As he moved to Roma, it seemed quite a milestone at first, but his spell at Stadio Olimpico ended up being quite a short one. In winter 2014, Bradley left the Giallo Rossi with 2 goals and 2 assists in 46 games to his name. Michael has been playing for Toronto since then and has been really decent for his club. His 290 matches in all competitions is the second best result for the Canadian side. Jonathan Osorio is the only player to have played more. Toronto's recent success has a lot to do with Michael Bradley's contribution, three titles in Canada and the MLS title in 2017. Speaking of the national team, Michael has 151 caps, which is the third best result. And he also scored 17 goals as a center midfielder. These are some decent numbers even for a striker. As for the trophies won, there were two CONCACAF Gold Cups as well as the Confederations Cup 2010 silver medal for Bradley. Brian McBride Brian came to Europe in 1994 as he joined Wolfsburg, the German side. However, he had to go back to America after a disappointing season, but his Columbus Crew spell helped the striker relaunch his career. 77 goals and 40 assists in 190 matches were enough to have another chance in Europe. After two loan spells at Preston and Everton, which didn't really work out, Brian was signed by Fulham and finally proved himself worthy of playing in the Premier League. He had four seasons at Craven Cottage, scored 40 goals and made four assists in 154 games, and then moved back to the United States to play for Chicago Fire and retired in 2010. Brian McBride remains the United States' fifth best goalkeeper to this day, 30 goals in 94 games. With the USA, he won a CONCACAF Gold Cup and also the Golden Boot in 2002. There was also third place at the Confederations Cup in Mexico as Brian's side lost to the hosts in the semis. So all things considered, we can say that Brian McBride got included in the National Soccer Hall of Fame in 2014 on merit. Josie Altito Josie's performance for New York Red Bulls, 16 goals in 41 games, helped him get noticed by a European side and move to Spain. Villarreal was the club that signed the young striker in 2008. However, it wasn't the best of spells for Altido as he left the Spanish club pretty soon and got to play for Hall City, Bursa Sport and AZ Alkmaar. In the Netherlands, Josie finally made a serious step forward and his 51 goals and 11 assists in 93 matches caught the eye of Sunderland, which was a Premier League side at that time. Josie came to England at the age of 24. He was quite young and fans in America had hopes that he still had a lot to offer. But in reality, the striker only stayed at Sunderland for two years, only three goals and eight assists in 52 matches in all competitions. In 2015, Altido left Europe for good and made a return to America as he was signed by Toronto. The striker is currently the second best scorer for the Canadian side with 79 goals in 173 matches. The leading attacker for Toronto made a solid impact as the team won the MLS title in 2017 and reached the finals twice. So mention is Josie's international performance, 42 goals, which is the third best result. The only two players who managed to score more are Dempsey and Donovan, both with 57. Altido could have probably outscored them but made a decision to retire from international football at the age of 30. Christian Pulisic Even though Pulisic is 24 and is only about to hit his prime, his achievements have already made him a top 10 American player and even more than that. His professional career started in Germany as Christian made his Borussia Dortmund debut at the age of 17 and in 2016 became the youngest ever foreigner to score in the Bundesliga. The media were all about praising the youngster at that time and never stopped guessing how big his future was. Pulisic was making progress, though he was slowed down by injuries. In the end, he left Borussia in 2019. He starts our 19 goals and 26 assists in 127 matches in all competitions for BVB. 
Christian's new club was Chelsea, as the Londoners paid 64 million euros for the American winger, who had a pretty decent first season in England. His nine goals and six assists bode well for the future. But in the following season, his injuries returned and did no good for his level of performance as well as consistency. However, the 2021 season brought him the Champions League trophy, so Christian became the first ever American to win it. And he did make an impact in the semi-finals against Real Madrid as he scored a goal and made an assist. Unfortunately, things haven't been going well for Pulisic since then. His performance has been pretty mediocre, so now Chelsea are considering selling the American. But still, Christian remains the United States' biggest help. His 21 goals make him the sixth best international goalscorer for the USA. We're yet to see if Pulisic is going to live up for the fans' expectations and prove himself at the World Cup in Qatar as the USA are to play against Iran, England and Wales in the group stage. Team Howard the American goalkeeping for Metro Stars impressed Manchester United to such an extent that the Red Devils willingly paid €3,200,000 for a youngster with no experience in Europe. And it's not like it was nothing back in 2003 as Howard was supposed to be the first choice keeper. But his United spell can be described as a disaster. The 2003-04 season, in which he made 32 appearances, was a really poor one, so Sir Alex Ferguson benched the American. In the following season, he competed with Roy Carroll and played 12 league games, but then Edwin van der Sar joined the club and left no chance for Tim Howard, so after a season of warming the bench, the American moved to Everton in 2006. He found it easy to adapt at Goodison Park and spent 10 seasons at Everton as one of the best keepers in the league. Howard made 414 Everton appearances in total and even scored once from his own penalty box against Fulham. He also managed to keep 134 clean sheets, which is one of the best numbers in the club's history. Speaking of the national team, team has 121 caps and 49 clean sheets. In 2014, he made 16 saves in the World Cup round of 16 game against Belgium, thus making it into the Guinness World Records. The final years of Howard's playing career were spent in America. His last club was Memphis until he retired in 2020. Clint Dempsey Clint Dempsey's performance for New England Revolution made Fulham sign the American in 2007. It took him one season to get used to the Premier League football as after that he became one of the most prolific midfielders in the league. He played 225 matches in all competitions for Fulham, scored 60 goals and made 21 assists, which makes him the 11th best scorer in Fulham's history. In 2010, there was also a Europa League final, which was lost to Atletico Madrid. In 2012, Dempsey left Fulham for another London club, Tottenham Hotspur. However, he didn't stay at White Hart Lane for too long though as in August 2013, Clint went back home to play for Seattle Sounders even though he was a first-choice midfielder at Tottenham. As for his starts, there were 43 matches in all competitions, 17 goals and 7 assists for the Spurs. As he was back in the United States, Dempsey kept on scoring loads of goals. In 2016, he helped his team win the MLS title and two years before the regular season. As for now, Clint Dempsey is the third best goal scorer for Seattle with 57 goals to his name. Interestingly, he scored the same number of goals for the United States, which is the best result as Landon Donovan played 16 games less. In addition to all that, Dempsey was named Player of the Year three times, which tells a lot about how big of a figure he was for the United States national team. Landon Donovan This player is the one you might have seen on old FIFA covers. Four times player of the year. No American has ever won this award more times. Landon was a Bayer Leverkusen player back in his days where he made only nine appearances in six years. There was a three-year long spell for him from 2001 to 2004 which helped the striker make a statement with 41 goals and 28 assists in 101 games. After he was back in Germany, he still struggled to get playing time at Bayern, so in 2005 Landon got tired from warming the bench and decided to move to Los Angeles Galaxy, definitely the most important club in his career. 
The striker played 316 matches for Galaxy, scored 137 goals and made 102 assists, which made him the best assist maker in MLS history. While playing for Galaxy, Donovan had a number of loan spells in Europe, at Everton twice and at Bayern in the Bundesliga. And while there were two goals and nine assists for Everton, things went way worse for the American in Germany. Only 176 minutes played in seven games and no goal contribution. In 2014, Landon announced his retirement, but two years later felt an urge for some more football and signed for LA Galaxy once again. That wasn't the best of comebacks though, as Donovan made only nine appearances and then left the club for good. In 2018, he joined the Mexican side Lyon, which was his final club where he retired. As for his contribution for the United States national team, his 57 goals is the best number in the team's history along with Clint Dempsey. As a captain, Donovan led the USA to four CONCACAF Gold Cups and also won the Confederations Cup, which was held in South Africa in 2009. There's a very talented bunch of players for the United States. Apart from Christian Pulisic, we can't help but mention the likes of Giovanni Reina, Weston McKinney, Tyler Adams, Brandon Aronson and others. We'll see if they end up being good enough to surpass the former USA heroes and bring glory to the United States in the upcoming World Cup. Dear friends, what do you expect from the USA in the World Cup? Please share your thoughts and predictions in the comments. See you soon!